Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella, and today is episode number 60. I got a letter board. It's just back there for this episode. I just thought it'd be funny to put it up there. I didn't actually get it for videos because the, the font is a little little to see. I got it mostly to take pictures with, but it's still cool. If you're interested, I got that particular one at Hobby Lobby in the Christmas section. It was 40% off the other day. And it is, I don't know how big it is, I didn't keep the paper, but it's pretty big. And um, it was $24.99, so 40% off that, it was $14.99. And the regular letter boards, it, boards in the regular letter board area are half the size of that for $24.99, just, just so you know. I got it because it had the white background and I thought I could paint the border of it if I wanted to. And you can buy letters separately. It came with red letters, but you can always buy, you know, any other color. Anyway, so let's get back to the episode. This one's late. Um, I have been crazy busy lately. I've mentioned that in my last vlog. If you watched it, that just things have been really busy lately. And I haven't had chances to film and really haven't had much chance to crochet much. But I do have some finished objects to show you today and some whips and talk about some of the things at the end of the video. Jesse is napping right now. He fell asleep on the couch just a few minutes ago and I was I got him in his bed and everything. So I'm going to try to film this before he wakes up. So I've got two finished objects. Well, there's actually four of them, but they're technically two different patterns. Um, so these they're both Halloween related. I'm almost done with my Halloween crafts, I think. Let's see her. Yeah, I should only have just the one more thing that's a whip that's Halloween-ish to get done. But the finished objects, this was part of a crochet along. Which one was this through? This was through the Underground Crafter. She was hosting, it's still going on actually right now. You could still participate if you wanted to. Um, it was many weeks long, I don't know, seven weeks I think. And it ends November 1st is when they did the drawings for the, with the winnings. Um, and you have until November 1st to enter stuff, so you could still go check it out, and I'll have it linked below. Uh, they released each week a new pattern from different designers um, that if you make that those patterns and you can enter them to win prizes, and I've made all of the patterns so far, and this was the last one. And this pattern is the Halloween Monster Mini Baskets by the Creative Crochet Workshop. Now, these were meant to be little candy baskets, I assume, you know but I didn't have a use for baskets, so I just went ahead, sewed them to shut and stuffed them and made little amigurumis out of them. But um, it's the same exact pattern. The only thing I changed was I sewed the lids on and stuffed them. So I'll just, I'll show you them. There's three of them. And there was a little vampire one. Their faces are really wonky. I messed up their faces, but they're really sh odd shaped too because Jesse's been playing with them. But it's just a little vampire one. All three of them have the same base and then you just do different colors and features to make them different characters. And this is the vampire. He's made with Hobby Lobby, I love this yarn, light gray or something like that. And then Red Heart Super Saver, black, white, and cherry red. <laughs> I forget what that art is called. But yeah, he's cutie. And then the next one I made was the little Frankenstein's monster. <laughs> it looks like out of it. These are supposed to be his bolts, but they're real floppy. He's made with Red Heart Super Saver black and white, and then the gray and green are mainstays through Walmart. I think it's just gray and green. <laughs> Actually, I think the gray is called light heathered gray or something like that, even though it's not a heathered yarn. Whatever. <laughs> but I think he's cute, and Jesse really likes him the most. And this third one, which is supposed to be a ghost, but I think it kind of looks not exactly ghost-like. It almost looks inappropriate in the sense of racism. <laughs> That's what it made me think of when I saw it, just because it was pointy, so that I sewed its little, the point of its hat kind of crooked, so that it wouldn't be pointy. Because <laughs> it's supposed to be a ghost, but it looked a little weird, because it was straight up, but I did sew it to go sideways. <laughs> it might just be me, but it's Red Heart Super Saver white and black, and it's just a little ghost. But like I said, they're supposed to be candy bowls, all of their head, the, the black hair on them too, and this white pointy part on the ghost normally detach, and they're supposed to be like little candy bowls or little treat bowls or whatever, and I didn't need anything like that, so I just went ahead and stuffed them and sewed their lids on and made little amigurumis out of them. Jesse's been playing with them. I did try to sit them up here with my others, but like all this stuff too, he does get them down and play with them occasionally. But yeah, so those are free patterns on her website and it'll be linked below, but it was also part of that cow. So if you're interested in that cow, you still have time to participate and there was a bunch of cute patterns. And actually my next finished object is, that was the second to last pattern. 
this next finished object was the last pattern released for that. And this one I think is super cute. This is the Baby Bat Sack Hat by the Stitching Mommy, and it's also free on her blog. Uh, the pattern, it was black, but I made it purple. I don't know why I always make my bats purple. I just like purple bats, apparently. This is a cute little hat, and it's just made with Red Heart Super Sailor Amethyst, uh, black and white, and a little tiny scrap of uh, cherry red. But yeah, it's made in a, um, a long panel. Like I made a... Um, 60 rolls I think of the brim which is back loop only uh, single crochets so it was out you know all the way <laughs> and then I did a bunch of rows of single crochet and then you close it and sew it together on the side and then along the top and it makes it a square one of the square hats and then you make the ears separately and the wings separately and the eyes separately and the mouth is stitched on uh, I got a photo here I'll pop it up of Jesse wearing it I made it for Jesse I might try to get him to wear it this weekend because we're going to go do some Halloween stuff this weekend and uh, it's, it's going to be cold but it's too little for my head. I mean it kind of fits on here <laughs> but that's basically what it looks like. I think it's really cute. I, you really don't even need to make the um, the ears separately. You could just use the pointy ears like people do with the cat hats but yeah I think he's adorable. I just like them in purple but I mean I guess you could make it in any color that you wanted but yeah. I always go for purple for some reason with my bats. This isn't amethyst, I lied. This is not amethyst. This is, it was a discontinued yarn by Red Heart. Red Heart accents purple. I had one more full ball of it left and I used it to make this hat and I still got a little under half of it left. I just remembered that. It's really close to amethyst. I think maybe this came out before amethyst or something. I don't know. But the accent, the Red Heart accents were like small skeins. They were smaller than the regular size. Um, super savers because they were used for accents you know for stripes and stuff and they're like last year there was a bunch at my sister's Walmart on clearance and I grabbed some pink and purple of it and this was the last purple but it's super close to amethyst anyways super cute that's all my finished objects I do have a few whips and last video I didn't even show my mom's shawl because I didn't work on it any I've got a couple whips that I haven't worked on I've got my mom's shawl and another corner to corner baby blanket that I will pick back up and start working on after all this Halloween crochet along stuff is over with, which most of the crochet alongs I've participated in are ending on Halloween. So, and that's actually one of my whips. I will show you. Let's see, is it the first one? It's right here. It's the Frankenstein Amigurumi Candy Bowl by Mary Smith. It's a cow being hosted on her Facebook group, which is made by Mary C.A.L. And last week he was just... The last time I showed him, he was just his head. I didn't have his facial features or nothing on him. And since then, I've stuffed his head, put his facial features on, and a body. <laughs> so now he's this little appendageless thing. But he's super cute. Now, I know that Frankenstein's monster, these bolts are on his neck, and that's what they, like, bring him to life with. But I just, I'm just i just going to follow her pattern. She put them up here, and they kind of emulate ears. So I went ahead and just stuck them up there to look like ears. Some people who are also doing the cow did go ahead and put them on his neck. But, I mean, you know, teach their own. But, yeah, I think his little face is adorable and his little body. So this week, by Saturday, I need to make his... Um, oh, I also got his little sweater, but it's not here. I made his little sweater. Let me find it. I found the sweater. <laughs> Here's his little sweater. It's just a little really super easy sweater. Ooh. It was made in like a long panel and then um, you fold it together and sew the tops and it looks like a little vest and then you work the arms off of there. But I got his little sweater done and his body. So this week before Saturday I gotta make his legs. His legs and feet and his hands and arms I think. And then that part ends on like Monday and then you have from Monday to Halloween which is just a couple days to make the bowl so I'll be finishing it hopefully this weekend but here his little sweater is <laughs> I made his sweater the same color as his little pants and then the legs will be that color too but the colors are Red Heart Super Saver black white this is light raspberry the blue for his eyes is Takura or something like that his skin color is light tea leaf I think his shirt is amethyst this is amethyst let's see here yeah see they are different but similar and then his pants and his jacket or his sweater or whatever is uh, 
I love this yarn graphite I think it is something like that it's really soft it's definitely I love this yarn <laughs> and then his pants will also be this color and then his shoes I'm gonna make black and the candy bowl I think I'm gonna make it like a bright orange color or something I don't know. I haven't got there yet. <laughs> but yeah, it's super cute. This is a paid for pattern, but it's adorable. And I'll pop up a picture here what it's supposed to or what it's going to look like. It's gonna be super cute. And she's since released a scarecrow one, like a fall themed candy ball that you could set out, you know, think around Thanksgiving to put little candies in or whatever. Super cute. I'll probably end up getting it too eventually. But yeah, so that's my little Frankenstein so far. I have made so many Frankensteins. So here one, two, three four I think I've made four Frankensteins so far this October <laughs> but okay that's one of my whips just talked about uh, the other whip is my Sparky beanie that I'm making Devin Sparky is a um, Pikachu <laughs> Pokemon I did get his ear antenna things done but I think they're too small so I'm actually gonna take these off I didn't weave in the ends because I was gonna check the size anyways and I'm gonna remake these bigger I didn't have it done by this last community day, but I'll have it done by the next one, hopefully. So, um, yeah, I just got to redo the ears. I just wasn't happy with them or antennas, whatever those things are. But yeah, that's that hat pattern is just like a basic hat pattern. And I did follow a video tutorial on how to make the points up here. But then I ended up ripping it out and doing it my own way anyway. So I guess I was influenced by a YouTube video. But it's basically going to be my own pattern because I'm just kind of... I was trying to do a pattern from somebody else and I just didn't like it so I'm gonna have to do my whole own thing anyways so yeah my last active whip is actually a commission that I got um, yesterday let me move my big old bag and it's living in my trick-or-treat candy bag which is appropriate because it's almost Halloween and it is a uh, baby cocoon I think is what they're called this one's pattern is called the owl cocoon set by Shifo's, she, she feels, um, patterns, and, uh, it's for the pattern when I bought it is in newborn, newborn size, three to six month size, all right, newborn, and then zero to three, and then three to six months, and the girl who was wanting it is for, her baby's five months old right now, and she wants to be able to use it over the winter so it's gonna be like a five to seven or eight month old so I'm making it bigger so what I'm doing is I'm following the three to six month pattern but I'm using worsted weight yarn instead of DK yarn and I'm using a bigger hook the original pattern calls for an E hook and I'm using a G hook so this is all I've got so far <laughs> you start at the bottom with like this hole and you increase a lot and it makes it wavy but it's actually supposed to be like that and then I did leave a long tail because you are supposed to close the hole at the end of it so I left a long tail to do that with and then I increased so far and now I'm going straight and I have to do 38 rolls of straight and I'm, I'm in like the ninth one now so I still got a lot of straight to go and this color is Red Heart Super Saver Honeydew which I'm actually going to be getting another ball of it from uh, someone on the Facebook group because I need another ball to finish it and um, I thought it would be more fun to trade yarn with someone than to just order it from like the Red Heart website. <laughs> so I got to package up her uh, trade and send it off tomorrow. And she said that she's sending mine off tomorrow too. So that's pretty cool. Anyways, yeah, this is going to be super cute, I think. Uh, it's coming out pretty good size. I've been, like I stopped and checked it. I keep checking it. And I think it's definitely going to be big enough for a five to eight month old baby. Jesse was huge and still is. I mean, he's two and a half right now and he looks like he's four. People mistake him for being older. So I'm used to having to make everything giant for <laughs> you know, him. So I'm pretty sure he would have fit in this. So um, I'm confident that her baby will too. This, uh, the girl who's ordering this has actually got a few things from me. Back when um, the jellyfish were really huge, um, she actually got two of them for I think another one of her kids. Yeah, because it was older and that was, I think I was still pregnant. <laughs> or Jesse was a newborn. Anyways, it was a while ago. But yeah, so I'm looking forward to finishing this. And um, I'll pull a picture of what it's going to look like. And she wants it in the exact same colors as this. Except the hat she wants in a purple color. So I'm going to be using a, a light purple to go with the blues and grays and pinks and all that's in the cozy. I really like this uh, honeydew color. I love honeydew melons and also this color is really pretty. It's a really pretty green color. It's like a mint green almost. 
Yeah, so that is my last active whip. Like I said, I am still working on the Treasure Island shawl uh, for my mom, but I haven't picked it up since that last video, so I'm not going to show it because it's exactly the same thing. And also the same goes for that corner to corner baby blanket. I will show it next time that I work on it. <laughs> but yeah, so that's all my finished objects and all my whips. That was really quick. <laughs> but um, yeah, I've only got a few other things to talk about, and then I'm going to go ahead and hop off here because i got to get dinner in the oven. It is after 5 30 now so yeah first i want to show you guys some notion pouches that i made these will be going up in the shop soon with matching project bags i have the project bags about three-fourths of the way done in there in my craft room i will be finishing them up this weekend and getting them up but there will be two harry potter sets <laughs> in the shop for sure monday possibly this weekend so if you're interested in any of these keep your eyes peeled for the updates and I'll also make a um, post about it on the Facebook group. But there'll be two of these Harry Potter sets. And like I said, they'll have um, project packs with them. Pretty sure these are both black on the inside. Yeah. And then there will be two of these Nightmare Before Christmas ones. This one's smaller because for some reason I measured it wrong and cut it wrong. But it's still long enough to put hooks in. It's just shorter. And it does have a green inside. And the other one is black on the inside yeah and then there will be one of these sets of disney female villains um i tried to cut the material where it would have a whole picture but the way the print was and the amount of material i had left i couldn't do it on both sides <laughs> but it's got the whole image on this side and then most of it on that side and it's black on the inside too no it's green i lied it's green <laughs> And then this one is actually mine. I'm going to use keep this one. Because it, um, I wanted to keep this print anyways. And it didn't have a good image on it. So I chose this one to keep for myself. And it's also green on the inside. <laughs> but yeah, they, these ones will have matching project bags. I'm working on them right now. I was working on them this morning. And then I'll work on them some more in a little bit probably after I get dinner cooking. And they'll be up in the shop. And I will sell these as sets together. Um actually one of these is already spoken for one of the harry potter sets but so there'll be four new sets in there one harry potter uh two not before christmas one of them yeah that's right so there'll be four <laughs> but anyways uh i just got these random materials the other day just because i wanted something different i was focusing on halloween and fall and there still are some fall and halloween uh bags in my shop if you're interested and i believe they're all on sale right now still i know the halloween ones are and uh yeah so I, the next thing i'll be doing is getting some more pop culture prints and christmas well winter winter slash christmas i'll get them and um i do have some thanksgiving bags that i'm going to be working on soon the gobble to you wobble ones i just have to get the material cut for that i was working on these ones first before i even cut those ones but yeah so that's all of that <laughs> um the next thing i have one acquisition that was a gift to me the person who sent it to me does it won't me to say who it is but they know who they know who they are and I know who they are so I want to say thank you to you and you know who you are <laughs> but she sent me two jumbo skeins of red heart spring green and um I don't know if you guys know this but this is one of my favorite red heart colors and I had recently run out of it actually I was going to use it on this blanket but I was running so low on it I had to use glow worm but um I usually have a ton of this and my local Walmarts all of them around us quit selling them and uh, we don't have any Hobby Lobby doesn't sell Red Heart or at least my Hobby Lobby doesn't and we don't have any Michaels or Joann's close to us and I'm not the kind of person who enjoys ordering stuff on the internet for two reasons one I like to test it out you know fill it and all that and two I have no patience so I don't like waiting for stuff in the mail but so she really graciously got me two of them and sent them to me and these are the jumbo ones this is basically four skeins of it and i can't wait to rip into it and start using it for stuff i wish i'd had these earlier because then all the frankensteins would be many of them i see with that one on the floor and this one back here wherever that <laughs> he's made with mainstays and then the candle holder one is made with glowworm but if i had had these i would have made them all in this color but yeah i can't wait to use these so thank you so much I do have actually some other acquisitions, but I forgot to bring them, and it's mostly stitch marker stuff. I've got some more um, charms and beads to make stitch markers for my shop. I actually made uh, two full sets of the hook marker 
stitch marker sets you know like a through k of all the hook sizes so you could put it on your project so you know um what hook you were using but like right after i put them on the shop they sold so that's pretty cool <laughs> i'm not complaining obviously i put them there to be sold but i just thought it was funny that um they sold so quickly and i do have enough beads to make some more of those i just got to get some more of the um the hook marker thingy <laughs> the clasps um the lever back thingies yeah whatever <laughs> all right the only other things i had to talk about real quick is the cakewalk cow did end and it was a lot of fun i was um i want to thank everybody for participating in it it was it was really awesome to see everybody's entries and to get ideas for cakes because i got a bunch of cake yarn in there that i need to use uh all the winners have been drawn and contacted and i'm pretty sure everybody's received their um rewards the only person i haven't heard anything from was the person who won the bags but i haven't heard anything negative either like hey i didn't get it <laughs> so i'm assuming they got their bags but um yeah other than that uh that's all the cakewalk stuff it was a lot of fun i don't know if it's going to be a yearly thing because i think even mo mentioned in her video that cakes cake yarns was kind of a fad last year and they've kind of died out this year i mean they're still making them obviously but a lot of them were clearanced out and they're just not as popular as they were so I don't know, we'll just have to get together next year and see about doing another cakewalk cow. Uh, I did definitely want to do more cows in the future because it was a lot of fun. But um, the next thing, event that's going on on my channel will be the winter holiday ornament swap. And disclaimer, <laughs> uh, I'm calling it the winter holiday ornament swap because not everybody in the world celebrates Christmas. And also, not everybody in the world is a Christian. So, if you're offended by that, you can just leave. And I'm sorry that you're so sensitive. <laughs> but um, I, I'm not going to talk about religion because I don't want to start a big hoo-ha. <laughs> I personally am not a Christian. <laughs> so, um, you know, and, but I do celebrate Christmas. Not because of Christian re reasons, but because of Christmas is cool. I also celebrate a couple other holidays. But I'm not going to mention them either because I don't want to start drama. So if, <laughs> if you're offended by me calling it winter holiday instead of Christmas um, swap, then bye. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Go find someone else to watch because I'm not your cup of tea. But um, if you're not offended, like most people weren't, <laughs> and I've got a lot of participants. I think the last time I checked, there were 33 <laughs> that were signed up. You have until Friday to sign up. So Friday's the last day. <laughs> if I don't receive your email before Friday night, then I won't. You won't be able to participate um i've got a lot of people i've got international people and i've got enough people who are willing to ship international that it all works out so um nobody should get left behind it's pretty cool and it's actually really ex it's interesting to see what all people celebrate because i put on the questionnaire you know asking what holiday you do celebrate so that the, your partner can send appropriate things and um it was just neat seeing everybody celebrates but anyways um like i said that ends friday to sign up for it and then over the weekend and some of next week i will partner people up and then i'll start sending out emails and stuff to uh everybody so that you know who your partner is and you can go ahead and start making the ornaments and buying the gifts if you buy extra gifts remember the only things that are required is an ornament and a card so don't get upset if you spend eighty dollars on your partner and they don't spend any money on you if they just send you an ornament and a card you know that's exactly what you signed up for so you should be happy with what you got but yeah so that'll run through the rules um it's all on the facebook group if you're interested it's in the announcements up at the top uh the rules because i can't even remember half of them now that i'm thinking about it but um all the packages have to be delivered or mailed before December. Um, I think I put seventh, but it may be the first before de before the holidays start. And they all have to be shipped with tracking so that I can track and make sure everybody sent something. And uh, one of the major rules is if you sign up for it but don't participate in it, you won't be able to do it in the future unless you have like a really good reason, like someone died or you know bills got really rough or something but uh you know don't say you're gonna do it and then not go through it or don't say you're gonna do it and get your gift from your partner and not send them one because that's not cool nobody wants to do that <laughs> but anyways i think that's everything i have to mention um so i'm gonna hop off here and get this edited and up and then i'm gonna go start some, some food because i'm hungry and wait for Justin to wake up so i'll see you guys in the next video oh i'm gonna pop in one more thing 
there will be a vlog this weekend I'm sure because we have plans Friday and Saturday for do Halloween th Halloweeny things so it should be fun actually Saturday is like an all-day thing starting from the morning to night where we've got plans so it should be an interesting family vlog and Devin will be there because he's off work so woo -hoo. but anyways I will see you guys in the next video like this video if you liked it share it if you think someone else will like it subscribe if you're not and I'll see you later bye guys